Hello, hello. I am back with another video. And I wanted to share you with you all the ones that are um, manifesting for their physical reality. Something else that can be done doing uh, your manifestation using the law of assumption, assuming you already have it. It's simply just like having that now kind of faith, the, you know, the evidence of things that are not seen. So, I have in here a draft of a, a retirement letter that uh, I created. All right, I'm trying to find it up in here and I want to read it with you. Okay, here you go. Sorry about that. So, I want to share this with you and the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because with the law of assumption you have to assume you're already where you want to be that you, you know, you're setting like the momentum of it and really if you look back over your life everything that you have or don't have you already thought it up you already created you already a master manifester sometimes we just manifest some things that we don't want just something as simple as a little cup that falls off the table and you look at the cup and you say to yourself oh i knew that was going to happen well you actually created that before it happened you know just by thought so our thought is a thing that is the magnet you know of of what our physical reality is so i'm gonna read this to you all and show you how I created my retirement for those of you who are trying to retire I thought every day well not every day but when I thought of working I always thought for years that I would never work all of my life um, I'll tell you now since since I'm there already that I, I worked for a company a electric company in New Orleans Louisiana and uh, their slogan once was uh, the power of people so I'm telling you this before I read um, this letter to you so you could understand that if, if you understand why I told you that I was a senior engineer associate in transmission engineering okay here we go the subject of the letter was early retirement was calling me so I answered when I was a little girl I asked a local lineman where he worked and why did he and why did the adults in the neighborhood think his job was good he told me that it was because he had good benefits and when he turned 55 he could retire and do what he wanted to I replied well when I grow up I'm gonna have a good job with good benefits too but I'm not working until I'm 55 maybe 40 but that's it I must be honest the little girl in me was just talking but it became something that I spoke throughout my life who knew that I'd one day work for that same utility company for 21 years who knew that I'd be able to go into early retirement knowledge of self has shown me that I spoke this retirement into existence it's true thoughts become things if we hold steady with unwavering faith well that's it for me I found my passion in life as an inspirational speaker, holistic healer, a creator of a natural hair product line and detoxing herbs. It feels so rewarding to be in a position to inspire others and assist in saving other people's lives. Becoming more health conscious both physically and mentally allowed me to first save, save my own. I will forever be thankful for my interdiff family and the beautiful relationships I've developed along my journey of unfoldment. If you are ever in the Arizona area, look me up. Notice I chose a place that's hurricane free since I'm all hurricaned out. <laughs> if you can remember anything about me, remember this. You create your own reality. You can blame the person who hurt you, left you, or mistreated you, but when we are honest with ourselves, we can clearly see that the only person who has the power to stop us from achieving greatness is ourselves and our own limited beliefs. Thought by thought, we all have the ability to create our own happiness based upon what happiness looks like to you. And that, my friend, is the undeniable power of people. Be blessed. And then I just left my email address to them. Why am I sharing this here with you today? Well, 
<laughs> I'm sharing this to my reflection. The person who's on a journey that may be ready to leave a job, to leave a broken relationship, to leave something to just define themselves. A person who's ready to go into the lonely moments of life and, and meet God. <laughs> Thought by thought, you're creating the momentum to get there. Whatever it is that you're wanting, you're creating the momentum to get there. I shared with you all that I was moving. I didn't know where I was moving to. <laughs> I was creating the momentum, momentum to get there, though, because I started packing my existing house. Every time that I would think about working and, and you know, every year when I reached that, that birthday and when people would, would ask me where I worked at, I'd say, where and then I'll tell them the amount of years but in my mind the secret thoughts that I was saying over and over in my mind is like yeah I worked there but I'm not gonna be there long <laughs> oh but I'm about to retire though but see I don't tell anybody because other people is your a reflection of your thought, doubts and your limited beliefs that you probably haven't cleared up yet you go meet doubt and Thomas and you don't want doubt and Thomas to stop you from getting your blessing to tell no one this is why in the parable in, in Jesus the parables was said tell no one he always said shh tell no one <laughs> because everyone is you pushed out and you might meet Dalton Thomas in you and then by the time you make it to the house you you you're not you're not able to see you still blind <laughs> by the time you 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 reach into the house you still crippled tell no this is a thought by thought by thought by thought by thought <laughs> this is letting this mind be in you I'm not ready to share the other things that I have manifested but baby it's only popping now you are a master manifester that's what we came forward to and you know what why I'm sharing this because you know at the end of the day oh my gosh that's one of my my childhood teachers I haven't seen this lady in years. Ah! Oh my God. But um, the reason why I'm sharing this with you all, I'm at the park, I'm about to go walking. And um, the reason why I'm sharing this with you all is because in my journey, the most important thing to me is me handling the matters of my soul. It's me handling the matters of my soul. Because my soul lives on. And if, 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 if I can master my emotions, if I can become a master manifester, <laughs> I'll feel so complete. I'm already complete. But that's what I want out of this life. When, when, when my physical body is no more, you know what I want on, on, on my tombstone? I want she created her own reality. <laughs> she created her own reality. Thought by thought by thought by thought. She was here. And she did everything that she wanted to do. She was unstoppable. That's it. That's it. That's my legacy. That I paved the way to others to understand for others to understand that you God. It's time to get back on the throne, though. <laughs> and sometimes we gotta separate ourselves from social media and, and foolishness. Sometimes we gotta separate ourselves from family and people that's real, real close to us because they negative energy all the time. Sometimes you gotta separate yourself from that stupid news and programming and program your own mind. Handle the matters of your soul, baby. And all you're getting, get an understanding and get to know you because you and inside of you is where the kingdom of God is. Nothing is outside of you. Everything is coming from within. People treating you the way that you thought them up to treat you. Fix that thing. Fix that. You could fix any type of relationship, really, with this here. You can get any kind of job with this here. All you got to do is think upon it. 
I'm gonna share with y'all some other techniques that I um that I have, but um, I'm about to end this here uh, video because I'm going to do some affirmations and take a walk on this park and say hello to this this teacher who left an impact on my life, and I'm so thankful that the universe brought her back to me so I could tell her what I'm about to go tell her. <laughs> well, I guess I created this one too, huh? Be blessed, baby, from my heart to yours. Goodbye.